So if you're trying to conceive, I can't imagine that testing for pregnancy has almost become a, a habit for you. Every time you feel pregnant, you run to the bathroom and you do that test and you get whatever results you get. But are you actually testing the right way? And do you know what the results mean? If you see like a faint line, a very faint line, does it mean you are pregnant? Is it a positive or a negative? And also if you experience what is called uh, a disappearing line, you see a line in the morning and then by evening time it is gone. Or you see a line today, tomorrow you test again, the line is gone. What could that mean? Does it mean you are pregnant or not? Hi ladies, welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, you are very welcome here. My name is Nosa. So in today's video, we want to talk about your pregnancy test. Okay, so as you guys may already know, there are two types of pregnancy tests. The first one is the pregnancy blood test. This is usually done in the hospital by a doctor. And yes, this can be expensive, but it is uh, one of the most accurate way or the most accurate way to confirm pregnancy. And this test can be done very early on, very early on, you know, than the, uh, than the home pregnancy test. Seven to 10 days after ovulation, the blood pregnancy test can detect or confirm that you are pregnant. The second one, of course, is a pregnancy urine test, which you can do by yourself at home. This one, of course, is very cheap. You can get cheap pregnancy tests and do the test at home. And the result is also considered mostly accurate if you are able to follow the instructions very closely. And when you do that, when you put that test strip into your urine, you are looking for a hormone called HCG. Now that hormone is released by your placenta and only pregnant women have a placenta. So once you get pregnant, you develop a placenta and your placenta starts to release that hormone gradually. Now, six days after fertilization, your placenta can already start to release that hormone. Okay, before we continue, let me just quickly say I am going to make a part two of this video where we will do a live pregnancy test. I'm sure you think you already know how to do a pregnancy test, but just watch out for that video, okay? I'm going to demonstrate to you guys and show you everything and of course how to read the results live, okay? All right, so now we're going to talk about the accuracy of a test result. The accuracy of a pregnancy test result depends on certain things. The first one is how closely you follow the instruction. I have some pregnancy tests here. So now these are two different brands, two different te uh, pregnancy test results. Now one of them could say, read the results in three minutes. That's after three minutes, read the result. And then the other one could say, read the results after five minutes or 10 minutes. Now if I, if I read this result after three minutes, which is the instruction from this box, then I could be getting a wrong result. So the accuracy of the test results depends on how closely you follow the instructions. So get an accurate result also depends on how soon after pregnancy you do the test. So let's say you did the date on Monday and then by Wednesday, maybe because you're just feeling, you're feeling weak, you're feeling so you're having some headache, you're just feeling a weird way and you start thinking, oh my God, this is, this is some pregnancy symptom. This is some early pregnancy symptom. And you decide to do the test. You may not get an accurate result. You will not get an accurate result because that is still too soon to when conception happened. So the timing is very important. You want to give yourself some time before you do the test. And another one is the sensitivity of the test you are using. So like I said again, I have some test results here. Now some of these tests are able to get, are able to detect that HCG hormone very early on, very early on, like six days after conception. But there are some other um, pregnancy tests that may not have that level of sensitivity. They may not be able to pick up that HCG until maybe even one month after you are pregnant. So it also depends on the test that you are using. Okay, now when should you actually test for pregnancy? So experts would normally advise that, you know, wait until you miss your period. I mean, once you miss your period, then you can start suspecting that you are pregnant. But there are some pregnancy tests that can, that can detect, that can show that you are pregnant before you even miss your period. But my answer to that question will be in line with what experts have said. The best time to test for pregnancy is after you miss your period. Even though you're experiencing some pregnancy symptoms and all of that, stay just wait, okay? Because sometimes what you are experiencing, those pregnancy symptoms, they could just mean that your next period is approaching. Yes, 
all of these symptoms are similar pregnancy early pregnancy symptoms uh, PMS ov ovulation they can all look alike so if you are already excited that I feel pregnant I'm, I want to go do a test there's no rush just wait until you miss your period and then you can do the test now I'm gonna share some tips for at home pregnancy tests if you want to test for pregnancy at home here are some tips that can help you the first one is to use your first morning pee your first morning pee of the day is the best pee to do a pregnancy test because that pee is, is very concentrated you have not drunk a lot of water while you were sleeping you have also not gone to the bathroom while you were sleeping so that once you wake up in the morning that pee is still very concentrated and so once you test your uh, the pregnancy test should be able to detect hcg in, in in your pee and of course give you an accurate result number two make sure you don't drink plenty of water before testing for pregnancy so if you're not testing like very early in the morning maybe you're testing during the day what you want to do is to make sure you don't have a lot of water in your body before testing for pregnancy because that water can dilute your urine and that would mess up with the hcg levels in your urine so your test your test strip may not be able to detect enough hcg and thereby giving you a wrong result try not to drink water for at least two hours no water no fluid okay you can eat but make sure to not drink a lot of water juice you know tea or anything so that your pee is very concentrated and then when you test you get an accurate result don't use an expired test whatever pregnancy test you are using make sure it is brand new make sure it is fresh make sure it is valid and not expired because that would give you an inaccurate result read the instructions always read the instructions on the pregnancy test you are using if the pregnancy test says read the result after two minutes then go ahead and do it if it says dip your dip the stick into your urine for one minute make sure that is what you are doing so make sure to read the instructions and follow it closely okay let us now talk about the results a pregnancy test result what do they mean so pregnancy test results can be a line it can just be like two lines or a color like pink or blue it can also be a symbol like plus and minus and it can also just show you uh, positive or negative or pregnant and not pregnant so these are the things you want to look at for in that pregnancy uh, stick you are using now when you see a plus or positive or pregnant it means you are pregnant number two so apart from having a positive result there is something called a false positive a false positive pregnancy result. now what this means is that you are not pregnant but the test result says you are and this can be caused by you know a number of things this is actually a rare occasion caused by certain things number one is medication maybe you are taking some medication for a health issue that you have another one is fertility drugs if you were taking some fertility drugs to help you get pregnant that can you know it can interfere with your hormones with and another one is uh some fertility issues fertility issues like pcos can make a woman experience a lot of pregnancy positive pregnancy test results she could think that she's pregnant when she's actually not number three another pregnancy test result can be negative you can get a negative a negative test result now negative can mean two things it can mean that you are not pregnant at all it can also mean that you are pregnant but the result says negative and that is because maybe you tested the wrong way maybe you didn't follow the instructions you know accurately or maybe you are using an expired test like we mentioned before maybe you tested too soon you, maybe uh your pee was very diluted you know like we mentioned before you want your pee to be very concentrated so there are many reasons why you can get a negative uh, a pregnancy test result either you are not pregnant at all or you are pregnant but the result is showing negative because of all the reasons that i just mentioned now if you get a negative what you want to do is to wait just like when you get a positive wait for about a week and then test again you want to retest some pregnancy uh, uh you know test instructions will even tell you test again after a week just to confirm that the result is actually negative or positive so just like false positive there's something called false negative results false negative pregnancy test result now what this means is that you are actually pregnant 
but the test result says negative it says you are not and the reason for this again is because you are testing too early i know i know you're experiencing pregnancy symptoms all around your body and you can't wait to see if you're pregnant but hey you have to wait some pregnancy tests cannot detect hcg in your body that early on so you want to wait until you miss your period when uh, the placenta has released enough hcg and then you can go on to test another very interesting pregnancy test result is a faint line a very faint line i've seen a lot of you asking if a faint line means you're pregnant guess what the answer is yes a faint pregnancy test line means you are pregnant now there are certain things that can cause this the first one is maybe you are testing again way too early you need to give your body enough time to release that hcg hormone so that when you test the line is just right there the line is bold now for some women these are you know the uh, their levels of hcg do not rise until way into their pregnancy so women can go uh, uh two months eight weeks before that hcg levels will start to rise so when you see that faint line it means that your hcg the pregnancy hormone is not high enough okay but you are pregnant another reason why you are getting a very faint line could be the pregnancy test you are using so some pregnancy tests are uh, have very bold lines like when you test you can see the line even if it's just 10 days after conception but there are some other ones that have less bold lines it can show that you're pregnant it can show a line there but the line is just very faint so what you want to do is to invest in some expensive or test and some very cheap ones okay i'm going to talk about all my pregnancy tests in my next video so please watch out for that video another one is called an evaporation line a pregnancy evaporation line so what this when this happens what you see is uh some colorless trick so instead of seeing a positive or a negative you see some colorless trick okay i've never experienced this but i can put a picture here to show you what it looks like now uh, this happens when you read the results later than when it was suggested that you should or when your pregnancy test gets wet so if you put it in a place where it is wet or if it falls into water then you will get this colorless streak. You won't get a positive or a negative. Now, this, uh, in this case, you are not pregnant. If you are pregnant, a line should appear. A symbol like plus should appear. But if you get, uh, if you get this colorless streak, then it means you are not pregnant. So what you want to do again is to retest, and of course, stay there, wait, and read the result exactly when it says you should read the result. And the last pregnancy test result on my list, which I'm sure a lot of you have experienced, is called a vanishing test line or a vanishing test result. The reason for this can be two things. The first one is maybe you use two different brands of pregnancy test. So you use one pregnancy test and it says you are pregnant and then you use a different brand and it says negative, you are not pregnant. So what you want to do is to use the same test or the same brand twice, okay? Use the same brand use it to test twice use this and use this again okay and then you can get an accurate result another reason for this is a pregnancy loss a miscarriage so some women will experience this like very early on in their pregnancy so when you feel pregnant like the early weeks of pregnancy you do a pregnancy test you get a positive result the hcg is there you know everything is there and then a few weeks later you do another pregnancy test and you get a negative what that means is that you have lost the pregnancy and one of the early signs or symptoms of a miscarriage in the early weeks of your pregnancy is bleeding so you experience a lot of bleeding bleeding out tissues you know a lot of blood and everything just coming out i know that that's a very painful and unfortunate situation uh, i do have a video on um, early signs of miscarriage you want to go watch that video to know what it feels like what it is so that when you get a positive and that and now you're having a negative then you should know if it was just um you know if it was if it was never there if there was never any any baby there or if you are having a miscarriage so those are some things that a pregnancy test result could mean so now i'm going to talk about what you should do with these test results if you got a positive test result the first thing you want to do is to obviously call your hospital call your doctor schedule an appointment you need to go for your first prenatal appointment we will most likely do a blood test for you to confirm the pregnancy and also to confirm 
how many babies you are carrying in there it could just be that you are carrying multiples so you want to go get um you want to get that blood test done in the hospital by a doctor you also want to start getting um prenatal supplements and any medical advice that is offered to pregnant women and this is also very important if you were taking some medications because of some health issues that you had before you got pregnant if that medication could be harmful to you or your baby's health then once you get pregnant you know let your hospital let your doctor know immediately they can they can either substitute that medication or stop it completely for you to have a healthy pregnancy so these are many reasons why you why you don't have to stay home and just eat some chicken why you need to call a hospital and you know get uh, get both yourself and your baby assessed if you had a negative test result but you missed your period your period did not come you tested for pregnancy and it says negative then here are some reasons behind it number one is breastfeeding some breastfeeding women will not experience will not experience their period until they stop breastfeeding so that's you know breastfeeding can mess up with your hormones another one is medication if you are taking any medication for a health condition that you have that can affect your hormones and cause you to miss your period and you are not pregnant hormonal birth control is another one so either you're taking the pills or you have some device in your body that can also cause you to experience uh, no period and you are not pregnant negative test results experiencing perimenopause so one of the symptoms of menopause is less uh, experiencing your period less frequently if you are trying to conceive and you are close to menopause age you may not be experiencing your period frequently which would make you think that you are pregnant if you do a pregnancy test you will get a negative result so your age being close to menopause is another cause for no period and negative test results another one is pcos we talked about this already lack of sleep uh stress if you another one is thyroid issues if you have problems with your thyroid this can also be the cause for it uh, a recent weight loss if you lost weight drastically that can affect your hormones and make you to experience no period and negative test results so these are a list of things that can cause you to miss your period when you are not pregnant so yeah guys that will be it for today's video i hope you guys now understand or know how to test for pregnancy the right way to test and the right time to test and of course how to read your pregnancy results uh if you have any questions then let me know in the comment section i will try my best to answer please watch out for my next video okay it is gonna be fun we are gonna be testing for pregnancy live in my bathroom and yeah just watch out for that video i think you're gonna learn a lot as well if you enjoyed watching this video if it was helpful to you then of course give it a thumbs up I'll leave your comments down below share this video with anyone around you that you think needs to see it and subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate that thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next one